Hello everyone. Well, we've arrived in Welsh Wales, a place called Anglesey, which is a little island, I think, somewhere in the north of Wales. We've only just arrived. We've uh, unpacked, but not... I'm sure I've got something climbing on me. Um, yes, there's a spider. There's a spider on me. Hang on a minute, folks. Can you see it? It's probably huge. I'm going to have to look in the mirror. Sorry about that. I don't know... Uh, where it's gone, probably down to my nether regions to set up home. OK, I'm going to do a quick tour before we unpack. We've, we've hired a three bedroomed detached house. I'm on the hunt for the washing machine and tumble dryer. They're in the garage, but we can't open the garage door. So there's loads of different keys to try, but um, I'm sure I'll find out where it is in the end. So this is the hall or the vestibule. Uh, this is obviously our stuff we've just dumped in here. As I said, we've just just arrived. I'll take you upstairs first. Now we're going to have to toss for which bedroom we get. There are three bedrooms. Ooh, there's an attic. I wonder what's up there. So I don't think any of us will be sleeping in this this back bedroom. We've got a little nautical theme going on in here. Some rather nice beach huts and uh, sailing boats so this is a twin twin room not much of a view out the back we've got uh, i don't know what this building is some sort of a, a large building there there's a, a enclosed garden it's okay for the dogs and there's a conservatory we can hear seagulls yeah, so it's a little bit uh, built up at the back. Not this, not bad, is it? So, oh, they've even provided us with a little, a little torch. So this room will be. Uh, we won't be having this. Uh, more nautical themes. Look, and a sign to the beach. Oh, what's in there? Is that locked? Oh, that's locked. I don't know what's in there. So, this is one of the double bedrooms. We're going to have to toss a coin to see who gets which. This is the worst of the two double bedrooms, I'd say. So again, we've got another little nautical motif. A little uh, seagull there with a, a shell. They've used rather a lot of glue to secure that shell. Nothing in the drawers. Are these touch lamps? No. So this is a nice double bedroom. And we've got uh, oh, storage. Plenty of uh, room to hang our things up. So it's going to be a coin toss. Who's going to get this one? It's nice enough, but we walk through through the landing into the bathroom quite nicely done we've got a, a shower and one of those shaped baths and look there's a tap isn't that a novel idea look ooh exciting and a toilet so this is the Double bedroom. Very nice, isn't it? So who's going to get this room? Because this room incorporates the ensuite with a very unusual corner toilet. I've never seen a, a corner toilet before. Very different, isn't it? And a bit of a sparkly motif on the walls. It's like Kylie's dressing room and a tiny little wee sink and a, a reasonable shower Oh, I'll be having a go in here later look you've got jets hmm oh there it is there's a spider can you see it folks there that's what's being I knew there was something dangling off me right well go on spidey get off 
Oh, hang on. Let me just get rid of Spidey. Put Spidey over here on the curtain. Oh, somebody's coming up. Well, if he's going to want to be in the video, he better not. So, yeah, look, this shower. We've got jets on the wall, and we can possibly, if we stand on tiptoe, get a bit of a bit of a nice, vigorating shower sort of thing. Oh, well, <laughs> Mark seems to think this is his room, but we're going to toss a coin for it because it's not fair. Oh, a bit of lime scale. Mmm. But, yeah. Ooh. That looks exciting. Anyway, I'm going to be trying that later. Cool. Oh, hello, Daisy May. No piddling, will you? She's... <laughs> as soon as we arrived, obviously they needed a wee-wee. There's a wall over the way. She just decided to jump. It was a little short wall. She decided to... She just jumped over it. And there was a huge drop. She's okay, but... Um, you know. Right, we've got some of these blinds to make us feel like we're in an office which uh oh there we go can we see look we can see can you see the sea folks through the vertical blinds hang on let me let me spread them for you and outside there's a little seating area but i don't think i'll sit out there because well there's folk directly opposite but Oh, it'd be great to get on that beach. I'm going to have a quick shower first. This is a nice plush pile of carpet. What are you doing, Daisy May? Oh, I know. Are you, are you okay? Because you you were a silly little thing. She, it was, it was, well, it was at least five feet or maybe more. She just fell. She just leapt over this wall. You silly girl. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so that's upstairs. I'm not fussed about, you know, I don't really care what room, but it's not fair that we're totting a coin for it. It's the only fair thing to do. And I'm unanimous in that. Oh, there she goes, look. We're getting a food delivery um, in about an hour or so from Sainsbury's. So most of our food needs are taken care of. There's so many different keys. I wonder what's in there. It's quite a large issue. That must be a, there must be a box room. Because there's a space, quite a bit of space. Hmm. I'll investigate that further, folks. Oh, you can just see, you can see the little balcony. It's a bit of a musty smell. I think these carpets could do with a bit of a shampooing, you know. Hmm. Good job I brought a shampooer with me. And we can go downstairs, look. We've got some, uh, we've brought these fleeces, we, no we normally do that, put them over the beds and put them on the sofas so, you know, the dogs don't mess them up. This is a dog friendly, obviously, it's dog friendly. They've provided us uh, with dog bowls and things. Now, this is what some of you might want to be looking at. Well, here we go, look. A waggy welcome to your pet friendly holiday home. Oh, look, please keep pets off the furniture. Please clean up after your pet. Please remove pet hairs from the carpets and furniture before you leave. Please do not leave pets on their own in the property. Do not allow pets upstairs or in bedrooms. Oops. They've already been upstairs. Now this is the cupboard under the stairs. Oh, and what delights have we got in here? Well... <coughs> Dear, sorry about that. Well, we've got... <gasps> oh, I'm getting a bit sick. We've got a vax. A vax that looks a bit dirty. It's a vax air stretch total home. And that's an unusual place to keep the hose, isn't it, folks? It doesn't live there. Who's left it on there, look? It doesn't live on there, does it? Shall I put it correctly? Hang on. Let's do it correct, because I can't bear to see... There we go, that pitter-patter is daisy. There we are, that's how it should be. With the little floppy bit here at the top, look. I had one like that. That's better. I might be using that later. And then we've got some, oh, a vac steam cleaner in there. Oh, nothing else, No, nothing of any interest. What's in here, folks? Oh, it's the hard floor adapter for the backs. Obviously never used. 
iron, iron, some cheapo generic iron there. So that's that. Pop that back in there. And then in here, all right, I'll just go in here. This is the uh, living area and kitchen. If I'd known there was so much hard floor, I would have bought a hard floor washer as well as a carpet washer. Now here's a, a unusual kind of sofa. You get up to all sorts of shenanigans on that, but obviously we won't be. Um, I don't know what these holes are for. I suppose you could put your mug of cocoa in there and, ooh, oh, a little hidey hole for your whatevers. Oh, that gives me flashbacks of Jimmy Savile's famous chair, if you know who I'm referring to. You will if you live in the UK. <laughs> oh, Daisy May. So here's, uh, oh, look, the Wi-Fi password. That's good. And uh, a rather unusual retro sort of stereo system. Oh, no. A bush. A bush television. There's a, a, a real fire. I don't know where we're going to get the logs for it. Um, another chair. And as you see, it's a sort of open plan area. There is a dishwasher, I'm glad to say, hidden away inside here. It's a Neff dishwasher. So, no, no washing up necessary. And there we have Oh, what smells? Oh, we've, that's our dog food we've put in there. A Kenwood microwave. Oh, pans and drawers. Everything you might need, I think. Lots of utensils, isn't there? Two cookers by a... Is that Normenda? Never heard of them. Well, I have, but I've heard of them from the 80s. I thought they made televisions, but anyway. Quite low down. And then we've got a a ceramic or possibly an induction hob and uh, if we want to do four slices of toast at the same time we can with this toaster and there's a, a Russell Hobbs kettle with a bitter filter and they provided ooh, who's eaten those they've provided some wine which I won't drink they've provided some Welsh cake which I won't be able to eat, and some button-shaped dog treats, which I won't be able to eat either. Inside here is a refrigerator, and inside here is the freezer. So I think that's about uh, everything. Well, there's a food processor in there of some description. All the cutlery and aspects are up here. Yes, all the all the crockery. Look. And out, out here, we have conservatory with an awful, awful, oh my lord. I think those seagulls have had a little, ooh, tummy trouble. Oh, ooh, that makes me feel quite queasy. Anyway, there's a lot of bird poo poo on the, on the roof. There's a little sofa here and just so we know where we are, it says Wales. Now the door over there is the door into the garage that houses the washer and dryer, but we cannot find the key to fit that. But don't you worry folks, because I will be venturing into there as soon as I can get that key. Anyway, the garden is all nicely enclosed. Um, so the dogs can do their business. Oh, there's just one, one further room to show you on this tour which I'm going to say is the snug. And there's two. There's a downstairs loo as well. You see? This would make an ideal utility room. If this was my house, I would make this into the utility with the washer and dryer, etc. And here, a little nondescript room, but a bit cosier than the front room, and ideal because if somebody wants to watch something on television that the other person doesn't want to watch, somebody can come in here, sit on the sofa, close the door, nice doors in here, nice, nice wood, solid wood doors. We can sit back, eek, ah, oh. and uh, yes, we can have our own space. 
Now there is a carpet washer there and they didn't provide that. Funnily enough, it is a Vax, so it will go with their Vax vacuum. This is the carpet washer. Well, it's the handle and the other bits are in my bag. So I bought the carpet washer and I bought a huge load of detergent, mainly in case the dogs do anything. Well, Daisy, if she does a pee on the carpet, we've got something to pick it up, but I'll be making a demo video of that for my other channel. And uh, we've got lots of puzzles, some books. There's always books in holiday cottages. Uh, I don't know if we've got any um, DVDs. Oh, we've got an Xbox. Oh my Lord, it is. It's an X, an Xbox One. Crikey, that looks like it's out of the ark, doesn't it? I haven't played an Xbox. But anyway, if I want to fiddle with the Xbox, I could do. So that's, uh, I think that's everything to show you at the moment. I can hear the pitter patter of Daisy feet. Where is she? Oh, that plinth is coming away, look. Wait, Daisy May. I've got to, I've bought some food myself. Um, this, is, this is our stuff. This is all, this is all stuff I've bought because there's no point. I mean, we're getting quite a big order coming, but I bought coffee, I've bought some cereal, some more dog things, um, soya and oat milks and some other bits from home, uh, energy bars, a few tins, you know. <coughs> so I'm getting a lot of fresh stuff. Um, coming from Sainsbury's between four and five and uh, if we need to know the time it's okay because there is a massive clock there so that's the tour of the holiday cottage if you were uh... oh it... look reclining I wonder if they I wonder if they vibrate as well I'll soon find out can't wait to try that shower right that's it this is the, well, it's not a cottage, it's a house. And there's also a boat, but I don't know if we get access to the boat. I doubt it, and I don't think I'd want to go in it. So, yeah. Nice big property. Too big for two people, really. You could easily, easily have six people here in comfort. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, the introduction to the holiday cottage. Don't worry, I'll be searching out how to seek out the tumble dryer and washing machine for another video for any of you interested in that. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.